Hey, what's up? Hey, admin from Plex Guide. So this video is going to be fairly quick and it's really easy to use, but we're going to talk about um, Nextcloud. So Nextcloud has been prepared as of 8.0.7. And the good thing is, is that when you make your backups, your stores and everything, Nextcloud will be part of it. Just be aware that Nextcloud will count against your primary disk space. So not the secondary disk, because that's all for processing and all that other stuff. So what Nextcloud does is basically acts like your own Dropbox, right? So sometimes you may need to hand off files um, that are pretty simple to share, or you just might like storing your own, you know, a little collection without without dealing with Google. The irony is most of us probably just using Google, but you may have sensitive files that you just do not wish to share out. And the great thing is, is with PG's O authentication system now with Google, it shields you twice as much. So uh, you have to log in with the prime, the correct Google account to, to, to access the Nextcloud and then obviously your own user account. So you got double layers of security. And Nextcloud is very serious about security, so you can only access it via subdomain. So you cannot access it through traditional means like port number and all that other stuff. Trust me, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install it. So I uninstalled it prior to this video just to make sure that you know it executes clearly. We're gonna go ahead and type Nextcloud. And then it's gonna ask if we want to deploy it. Yes. And then do deploy. It shouldn't take too long. So a lot of things were cleaned up out of it from prior due to my lack of understanding of certain things. But other than that, it should work well now. Okay, so other than this, it should be good. So we're gonna go ahead and bring up Firefox. And here you can see that it was purposely taken down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do nextcloudrpgsrules.com. I'm already authenticated with Google, so you see how it just goes right in. So that's a great thing. So admin account, you can create whatever you want. Just remember that this is something you don't wanna lose. Um, I couldn't tell you how to personally recover it if you do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type uh, Plex and then the password will be guide. That's, you're not gonna wanna password that week. This you're gonna leave alone. So don't mess with this at all. And then you're just gonna do finish setup. And that is pretty much it. Um, I can show you a few things in Nextcloud, which is not overly difficult to figure out. And I'll show you how it looks like in Terminal when you get there. So let's look at it. Let's see, CD op, app data, Nextcloud. So this is where all your data is gonna be primarily stored, LSLA. So whatever the name of your account is, CD data, LSLA. So right there you see that we call the Plex, right? So that's where all your data is gonna be stored. Um, looks like I gotta go one more file deep, LSLA. And there you go. So these should mirror up, see? So those mirror up exactly alike, not, not overly difficult, right? So let's see what we got here. Okay, so let's take um, that Zab image and let's go in next cloud and just drop it there. So uh, it's very convenient, it's drag and drop, and there it is. So it should be synced up. So if I type LSLA here, and there it is. See, that's simple. Um, there's some nice settings here. The good thing is it shows you your disk space here, files you deleted. The settings is not really much of a settings here. Um, it's You're supposed to click up here, and if you go to settings, there's going to be some stuff you can fill in, email address, all this other stuff. So it looks like there's some awesome things you can do. So download the apps, you know, some basic settings you want to fill in, you know, uploads, monitoring, sharing. Maybe you want to share your files out. So, you know, just dig deep. Um, I believe you can link this to other servers. I haven't verified that, but from something I remember, you can add additional users if you want to log in. Just remember with Google's uh, O's authentication, if you're going to allow other users to access Nextcloud, make sure that you exempt it from the list. Um, and there's apps that Nextcloud can install. So I haven't used it, but it might be something interesting for you to check out. So go ahead, you know, play away with it. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a great feature, you know, something that's free that you can add to your server. Definitely when you have the ability to install an app to instantly access all your files. But again, most of you have unlimited sharing. I mean, I'm not unlimited sharing, but unlimited storage space with Google. So it's kind of a, you know, catch 22 what you really want to do with this. So other than that, 
you have an outstanding day.